Okay. Yep, hold that. So. So, uh, this this was found. Good. I left, gotta, it, I left it on the seat when we were leaving. Yeah, good. We gotta keep that in your pants pocket at all times. Like, if you take it out, you gotta put it back in. Otherwise, that's gonna happen, because it's happened, like, multiple times now. This has happened only twice at the movies. Okay. Black Panther and Deadpool. Yeah, and then there was the other time when it went down the side of my seat. So, that's, like, three times. So, we gotta keep it in the pants pocket. Yes. All right, so off we go. Yep. So, uh, what's your thoughts about Robert Downey Jr. as Dr. Doom? Well, first I was like, wow, and then I was like, uh, I don't know about that. Because I don't... It, it could be really good or it could be a desperation move. I really don't know what to think about it. Because... Well, you said you needed a, you needed a good Doctor Doom. Yeah, but I don't know if they're just gonna go with oh he's a Tony Stark variant or whether they're actually going to make him into Doom because Doom is one of the most complex Marvel villains, and I thought they were gonna go with Killian Murphy who would have been amazing, but I guess not. So I don't know what to think because. Doctor Doom has got to be, like, crazy prepared. He's, like, he's always really prepared, but then he always does something that screws things up at the last minute, and it's always his fault, but he can't really accept blame, so he always takes it out on someone else. That's basically Doctor Doom in a nutshell. And that's exactly what happened with the 2004 film and the 2015. Yeah, that's, that's what Doctor Doom does. They got that part of Doctor Doom's personality exactly right. Though the 2015 movie sucked. It did suck. It really did suck. Uh, by the way, Devin and I went to see Deadpool and Wolverine again last night. What, what did she think? She laughed all the way through it. It was pretty great. What did she think of Will, Will, Deadpool dancing to NSYNC? That was, I, I told her that, and this is true, that the official um, NSYNC video has been updated with its title to say Deadpool and Wolverine in brackets, because that's the reason why people are looking at it now. That is correct. Yeah, and I looked at the, obviously, the, I, Maybe this is not a surprise, but uh, that's not Ryan Reynolds in the suit doing the dance. Yes, they I know. Got, they got another guy to go into the suit, and so we. I looked about. I looked up his story, and you can see him practicing it. It was like his agent was like, "Hey, you got to learn the bye 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 dance," and I won't tell you why. But and then, it, he, and then later, he went from practicing it into you know doing it in the Deadpool suit. What did she think of the skeleton Wolverine? I mean, it was kind of funny at the beginning, but I think her favorite part was, uh, what was her favorite part? Did you dress up as Wolverine again? No, but I did, after we got home, I did put the mask on again, and I just walked by her. What did she, what did she think of you in the costume when you got, when you got, went home? When I got home, she was like commenting on, you know, she, she said my butt looked nice in it, which is always a nice thing to hear from your wife. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't, you know, paying attention to that part of it, but it was nice to hear. And, uh, like I had the claws on and the mask and she was like, wow, you have a mask and claws. And I told her about the people in the theater who were, you know, wanting to take pictures with us and stuff. And that made her happy because it was like, wow, you made that really special. So it was all around a good experience. The effects of that super day is still have an effect on me, like the tiredness and stuff. Really? Oh. Because that was a very long day. It sure was. Did you crash when you got home? Well, I mean, by the time I dropped you off and, you know, I had to, I had to get my paperwork into, into extended uh, Did family. you figure out what was, what was the issue with the gift card? No, I never did. I, he just was like, yeah, just give the uh, the receipt to us. And I was like, okay. And what about the ticket? What about the parking tickets? Yeah, I I put in the receipt and I had a, uh, the paperwork that I, that we sign, that's supposed to be for expenses and things. So I put that, I had to pay for parking and I put the parking receipt that we got from uh, Wet n Wild in the envelope and I'm going to, and I expect to get paid for it.
completely empty parking lot. That is correct. Just put ourselves right over here so you can just walk straight up and drop it off. That is correct. And uh, are we doing a new video? 